Hello guys, it's me Kartik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So we are scheduling our you know uh, jobs with the help of the quad scheduler, right? So we have learned about few concepts like how to schedule, how to build the job details, how to build the trigger information, how we can run forever, and also we have learned how to connect uh, to the JDBC, you know, uh, and store our job store in the JDBC. That is cool. Okay, so let me show you one example here. I am running a job in this case uh, what is a job this is a job right which I am implementing from the job application simply uh, I'm storing you know I'm just printing something onto the console okay and here it is calling a scheduled method here we are building the job details and the trigger information that we have discussed as part of this playlist but let me show you one more time where I am passing a class name and trigger info and here I'm building a job data map and this data map I'm setting here and uh, other items like identity and the store durability other things being set what is there in trigger info is something like this trigger count is run forever time interval between the each job run okay so all information is available here okay so why am i explaining all these details first of all i have a one job when i execute what will happen it will create a service here when the service created whatever that is there in the post construct will get executed and this job gets executed cool nice and i have a one more called a uh, quad controller here where i'm simply calling this uh, service and in this service again i'm scheduling a job okay if i go here again i'm scheduling a job that is cool both we are doing here but the one difference here is i'm triggering with the help of a priority so here i am setting a priority object in in our previous one we are not setting any priority object but here we are setting a priority to the trigger what is this what is this priority and how it is going to be helpful is it really going to be helpful that we are going to discuss as part of this video so basically uh, priority is nothing but you have two jobs which need to start at the same time okay then you are telling your quad scheduler take the job based on the priority okay so uh, let's say like in your job in your quad scheduler you have something like a uh, trade count as one trade count let's say you have a trend trades okay a uh, pen running and you have something like 100 uh, jobs you need to run them at the same time okay you have 100 jobs you need to run them at the same time then which one to pick it up first even though they should run at same time if you have an option to give the priority then that would be good so that the quad scheduler will know which job to sell it there is this method called with priority okay the default priority is actually five anything below to that will be like taken as a lesser priority let's say i have a two jobs a and b okay so let me show you that i have a job a and job b job b of priority 2 and uh, job a of priority you know uh, no priority there's a default okay so so no priority that means default priority is 5 and both should run at the same time then the job a will be given more priority than the job b but if the scheduler so if the job uh, b is having a priority of 20 and both jobs a and b should run at the same time then scheduler will decide which job to take here the probability of taking the job b is more compared to the job a provided the trades are you know are not uh, starting at the same point of time okay so uh, this is the thing okay now let me show you this i am running this application so uh, one job will run from the post construct other job will run from the uh, uh, you know west end point okay so i am starting this job 
I'm starting this application, right? So now you could see it is started. Now let me hit this as well. In the meantime, I'm not sure whether it will start. Not it because other items are starting. Hit now. Not it. Hit now. Now Maria DB is getting loaded. Quad scheduler is loaded. Now you could see first job is getting then in the meantime uh, in the meantime one more will come the second job is coming okay first and second first and second first and second but the one with the more priority they will say it will take more but in reality it sometimes it works like that sometimes it doesn't okay uh, basically it all depends on the availability of the worker traits and the, if the traits are occupied then it becomes little uh, hard okay so you have this option to you know use it with priority but uh, I would suggest accordingly you you know set your timer so that there is no dependency among these two jobs basically the jobs means independent components needs to run if one job is depending on other then you have to adjust your timers because i did little bit of research on this yesterday but i found that like quad scheduler is you know uh, not that uh, i mean they are doing it but it does not work as expected okay let me show you a few uh, traits here reality uh, in quad scheduling scheduling not working as expected there were few things you know see here the issue here is quad schedule doesn't ensure that when you schedule multiple jobs at the same time with different party you will get them in order you want unless the working trade is busy so this the working trade is very you know uh, it's very difficult to understand basically there were few other as well I have seen but yeah I think this is useful for you uh, useful future like with the help of the priority you can always uh, use that yeah I think that's all from this tutorial guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me Kathy.